Our first guest runs a live cooking show right in her own kitchen. Leslie Nance is the creator of GoToKitchens.com, a resource offering recipes and support for people who want to live the anti-cancer lifestyle. Leslie, so great to have you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I really want to understand what is the anti-cancer lifestyle and how can people start making that transition? That's a great question because I think most people think that because I'm a kitchen coach and I teach yeah. people how to be in the kitchen, that it has to do with all food, right? Like right. you just eat well and you're never gonna get cancer. But it's so much more than that. It's a mind-body connection. It's an emotional connection. It's a passion and a drive for life. What drives you, what makes you passionate? Yeah. All wrapped up into a nice little package with a food bow on top. Yes, <laughs> and the food is the draw. I mean, for, it is <laughs> for real. I watch you because I like to, you know, figure out how to cook stuff. Right, I know. It's uh, probably why most people like to watch me. So yeah. then I suck them in. Yes, <laughs> it's like yes, you don't know you're eating. Life. Yeah, you don't know you're eating healthy, but you are. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you're all of this was started by a, a transition that you went through, um, and some things that you kind of learned about your own personal health. So tell us a little bit about that journey and how you kind of came into all of this. So uh, in 2012, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and it took me by surprise. I mean, I thought I was doing everything right. I was, I thought I was healthy. Um, I thought I was living a dream life, honestly. I had everything. My husband and I owned a small business and we were, we had beat a recession mm -hmm. and we were doing really well. We were traveling the world. We were doing all the things that we always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I got a cancer diagnosis and it rocked my world like it does most people. I mean, let's be honest. Most people aren't like, they cancer. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm not, that's not unique to me, but, um, but it really rocked my world. And so um, I spent about two months being a basket case. After the cancer diagnosis, I was crazy. I was running around. I didn't know what to do or how to uh, accomplish what my mind was telling me to do. And so I needed answers. And so I started searching out answers. And the first thing I found was food. The yeah. first connection I made to healing my body was to food. And so I had to learn how to eat I had to learn how to respect the food that I was eating and what I was putting into my body. And, um, and that, that started a whole life change for me. And I will tell you, people that knew me prior to 2012 and maybe haven't seen me in a long time, mm -hmm. they are, what's happened to you? What's going on? What's, what's the change? What have you done differently? Did you change your hair? Have you, you know, you're just smiling all the time. Aww. And, and it, it, was a, it, was a big, it was a big flip switch for me. I mean, I, that, that switch really got a big flip and, and it, was a, it was actually the best thing that's ever happened to me, honestly. I mean, yeah. I think a lot of cancer survivors find that empowerment that it can be the best thing that ever happened to you if you let it. So, and and I, let it, I let it take hold of me that way, so. Yeah, it sounds like you made it become a lesson for you and you, mm -hmm. you let it empower you to become something for others as well. Absolutely, and that didn't come till much later. Um, about a year after my cancer diagnosis, I began to really figure out that there was a different way to live and I was living it and, and I could feel a change. And again, I'll go back, people were seeing a change in me and because of that, they wanted to know, what are you, what's going on, what are you doing? And they wanted a piece of the pie. You know, yeah. how do I get in on what you're doing? Because you're supposed to have cancer. You're supposed to be sick, right? <laughs> you know? And I'm like, I know, and I'm not. I mean, it was just, it was, it was phenomenal and exciting. And so about two years into my journey, um, I began to teach family and friends how to cook, oh. how to be different. Um, and I made a video one day, and it was all over. Go to yeah. Kitchens was born. You were hooked. I was hooked. Yeah. <laughs> I was hooked on making other people as passionate about their bodies as I was about mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's beautiful. And you've built a really engaged community. I mean, when you yeah. post something, people are responding to it. Mm -hmm. They're watching on a regular mm -hmm. basis. So how did you really build a community of people that are so involved with what you're putting together? Just, I mean, I honestly, it's just, I think it is that, just that drive to walk the walk, 
that I'm talking. You know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna talk about it all the time, typically when you meet me in person, it's the same person you get on camera. Everybody's like, hey, you're just like you are, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe with a little eyeliner. But <laughs> but it's it's I'm the you know it's the same I'm the same person that you meet, and I think that they are people are looking for that like best friend. You know, they are looking for the person that they can relate to. Yes. So they're going through an icky time in their life. And then they find somebody like me and that has a little light to shine on them, mm -hmm. has some extra light to shine on them, and they gravitate towards that light. And so I have, a, I have a mantra that is always let me be light into darkness and never darkness into light spaces. Uh, and so I think because of that, it, it, it draws people into that. People want to move towards that. Mm -hmm. and, and they're just amazing people that love and share with one another in a way that I could have never anticipated or expected, but I'm so grateful for. Yeah, and in your community, I feel like people are kind of supporting each other in the process as well. Yeah, they are, and yeah. it's beautiful to watch them as they learn and grow. They begin to also teach the principles that I'm teaching them. They begin to teach those to yeah. each other and to the new people that are coming in. And then they stick. And they're like, all these people love me and they want to stay here, you know, and they want to, they want to be a part of that. And it's, it's been an amazing journey. That community is just, it really, GoTo Kitchens is not a thing or a website or a place. It's a community. I mean, it's a community of people. So hence, GoTo Kitchens. Yes. <laughs> so what's the one thing that you really want for the people that are watching your show? What's mm -hmm. your biggest um, your biggest wish for them to take away from being involved in the community that you've built? Yeah, so I think it is so important to realize the power that is in each one of us. I mean, to get up and get up in the morning and to get ready and to even eat breakfast or even open your eyes takes some form of energy. And when we harness that energy in a positive way, not in a negative way, but in a positive way, our bodies are healing machines. And so I like to think about food and spirituality and self-care as that energy that drives you to your next point. Mm -hmm. So using that positive energy of taking care of ourselves, of eating good information. I mean, oh, food is information, like right? <laughs> and so if you give... If you give your body bad information, it's going to process bad information out, yeah. right? So if we give our body good information, then it's going to process good information back out. But right. that's not just in not getting cancer. Mm -hmm. That is also in our interactions with one another, yeah. how we perceive the world, how we go about our day. All of that is the anti-cancer lifestyle. I love that. Yeah, that is, that is really the anti-cancer lifestyle. Food is just the... Food is just the icing on the cake that we get to eat all these, you know, scrumptious, amazing things and live in our kitchens and be be one with our kitchen and understand that it's not just a workspace, but it is a space to heal ourselves. And so it's our command center, really. I mean, it all starts with that. So so that's really the big takeaway is just yeah. loving yourself so much that you that you just you have to take care of yourself. Like, there's no options. So empowering. Yeah. Yeah. It is empowering. I agree. <laughs> So is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience before we go? Uh, just uh, really just having that that clarity. I actually counsel people. Um, I am a holistic cancer coach. I'm a certified holistic cancer coach. Uh, okay. And so I do counsel people one-on-one, -on -one, mostly with just people that are have active cancers. So, um, But I do have some group coachings as well for people that are wanting to um, prevent cancer, so never get it in the first place. That's the best medicine, right, is to never get it in Prevention. the first place. Prevention, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, then we have, um, and then we have groups that are designed for active cancer if you don't want to do one-on-one -on -one with me. And then we have people that have had cancer but are interested in never getting it again. So preventing or lowering that risk of reoccurrence. Okay. So I, I teach people in all of those aspects. And then of course, there's just a fun cooking show always attached to that. Yes. But just getting in that kitchen and understanding that the food that we eat is medicine. It is medicine and it is information that we're feeding our body. So feed that body good information. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being here thank and sharing you. some amazing tips. Thank you so much.